The religious leaders are complaining that Jesus is eating with sinners. Jesus responds with a trilogy of parables, choosing three different images for God that reflect his personal and caring nature, but all of them are offensive to the Pharisees. A good shepherd for the lost sheep, a good father for the lost son, and a good woman for the lost coin. Uh, Pardon me, God, a good woman? Surely not. I know of no hymns or worship songs that celebrate God as a good woman. Yet men and women are made in God's image. So God has in their purest form the best characteristics that we find in good men and in good women. In the second of the three parables, the woman has ten silver coins, most likely a poor woman's dowry. She can't afford to lose one, but does somewhere in her home. So the sheep was lost far away, as was the prodigal son, but the coin was lost at home, as was the prodigal's brother. We don't have to wander away to be lost to God. Now rural Galilee homes were often dark, with walls and floors both made of black bolshit rock and tiny slots for windows to let out smoke. A coin fallen between black flooring stones would be hard to find in the semi-dark. The woman had to light a lamp, sweep the floor, then get down on her knees and search patiently, carefully and meticulously until she found it. Jesus is telling the Pharisees that he doesn't just eat with sinners, but he seeks them out. With what generally are positive female characteristics involving caring, patient and diligent searching. Most men are like me, more impatient. After two minutes of looking in the obvious places, where are my keys? The Pharisees complained because they thought Jesus was not concerned about purity. But for Jesus, purity was not about eating separately, but about guarding your heart and mind whilst being radically involved with the lives of those that were lost. For the Pharisees, those who were sinners had devalued themselves and should be despised and avoided. But Jesus knew that a coin's value is not changed when it gets dirty or lost, nor is our value to him. No matter how impure you become, it does not affect your value in God's eyes. He loves you so much, he placed a price tag on you, which was the death of Jesus on the cross. It's an immeasurably high value. The work has been done on the cross, the price has been paid, and your value has been set. That value never changes. So if you are lost today, he is seeking you out. And heaven is dressed up in party clothes, waiting for you to choose to be found. Amen.